Hello fellow simmers, it's Samuel Beeman of BLS here and today we're doing another video on the Cathcart Circle Line route for Trainsim World 3. Now I did say I'll do another video on this so I'm keeping my promises and here we are. So in this sort of look, so this is a review, so I'm still doing a review on this, so this is basically I suppose you could call uh, a second part review of the route DLC. So the first part I shall link in the description of the video so you can have a look at my sort of first look video of this route DLC for Trains in World and uh, give you sort of a you know just 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 to look back and 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 understand the story behind my reviews of this of this route so far so in this particular video I'm going to be taking the 1358 uh, Nielsen to Glasgow Central service this will be a commuter service with a class 314 electric multiple unit which comes with the route DLC and we're going to obviously it's dynamic weather so we're gonna have it as dynamic weather and it's clear um, because it is pretty clear outside in real life so you know let's get right into it so Nilston to Glasgow Central, let's do it. Okay, so here we are in our class 314 electric multiple unit. I'm going to uh, set the cab up so we'll put our AWS so it's unisolated. Uh, we need to make sure our master key is in, just like that. Put ourselves into neutral, so AWS and unlock our doors. So we're going to unlock the left hand doors. Okay so this is um, Neeston Station or Neilston Station. Yeah which does look pretty smart. Um, the detail, I've got to say the detail on this route is pretty fantastic. They've done a good job on the in the means of the detailing of the actual route itself. Now we've got to wait until 59.30, so we've got 30 seconds until we depart, basically. Yeah, the cab is lovely in this. Oh, we need to set up our headlights, so we're going to put them... Headlights and marker lights, so there we are. That's all sorted. Are our tail lights on? They are indeed. Fantastic. But yeah, just just look at the detail, man. It's brilliant. Look, we've got the uh, football courts, well, football pitch over there. Nice detail on the overall stations, which is great. It's great to see detail around the stations because obviously they are very important to have a lot of detail because you're going to spend a lot of time at stations. So we're going to lock our doors. And it's time for us to depart for Glasgow Central. So once our doors have closed, we are going to bell to the guard. That's the horn. There we go. And off we go. Let's open our window to get a little bit of sound in here. Can you open that? Well, oh, that's the platform announcement. That isn't the actual unit announcement because that would be pretty cool if it was the unit announcement. Now, on my previous first look sort of review video of this I noticed that there was like a hissing in the background which is really annoying um, I don't know if this video will have it but if it does have it I do apologize it could be something to do with my microphone if that is the case I mean well I may need to get a replacement One thing I really do admire Train Sim World for is the drivability of the diesel locomotives and units within the game. 
Uh, steam locos, not as good, but diesel and electric, they are pretty much nailed. The drivability of them is absolutely fantastic. Sorry about that guys. Passing another unit, fantastic. So one thing I will say about this route is it would have been nice to have some more units included with it. Because don't get me wrong, this is definitely one of the better DLCs that TCG have done, sound-wise and look-wise. But the lack of units is a bit... it makes it quite boring. It would have been nice to see the class 320, which I know is another second gen unit which is uh, often used on this particular line uh, it's basically like a different version of a class 321 but yeah but in the means of like um, variety of, of trains it's, it's not it's not great in that sense and also there isn't really a great deal of AI traffic I find it very boring to drive on this because you don't really get a huge variety I suppose it depends on what run you do but it could have been better. It could have been better in the means of traffic and train variety. one thing I do like about it is you can sort of hear the wind, the sound of the wind going past, that's a really nice feature. And the cab texturing is very nicely done. So we are approaching our station so I need to start slowing down. As we can see we are coming up to the platform just going to start slowing up now let's try and get a nice gentle stop Like that. <laughs> right, open the doors. I've got my cheese on toast for lunch here. Mm hmm. Very good. Mm. Do highly recommend people to try a good. Set of cheese on toast. Ooh, very good. Right, it's time to lock our doors. Quite a nice little station. I'm already late to the next station, so that's a good start, isn't it? 
typical BR. As I say, in the means of the sound and the detail on the unit, it does look absolutely stunning. I can't knock it really. They've nailed it. Right down to like the detail on the bogies, the pipes. It just looks brilliant. That is really annoying about the camera and TSW hat just like clips. If it clips on something, it just like, yeah, it gets a weird. For those of you who haven't heard the horn before, here it is. Okay, so here we are at our next station. I'm going to unlock our doors, like so. As we can see, the passengers are coming in and out of the station itself. Ticket checks are in operation at this station. Please have your tickets available for inspection. I love that. I love the station announcements. Quick look around this station. So this is uh, White Craig's. Very nice looking station. Again, station wise, they do look very smart. They've done a really good job on it. I'll give them credit for it. We've got all the electronic boards and everything. Next station's William Wood. William Wood. See, yeah, this is very nice, isn't it? Like this. Oh, my lords! Seven rail tour. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, is that even a 47 rail tour? It's like a short set, isn't it? It's like one of those like replacement units, like when a unit fails. Fantastic. Okay, maybe this, this run is a little bit more um, entertaining. I recommend doing this run, guys. 
certainly a lot more entertaining than the last run I did on this route. I don't know why that gave me an AWS when I've clearly got a green signal up here. Mind you, as I said, I've got a yellow in 920 yards. One thing I didn't do is my destination lights, but... signals red the right doors this time. A cool thing I like about Trains in World is you can literally, you know, get out the seat and just have a little wander about. Like you have the freedom to do that, you know? It's quite a nice station to be honest. Look, we've got the little uh, train thing. Oh, I can refill the flower pots here, look. Because obviously you can get out and obviously do your collectibles and stuff. Like we've got newspaper stands here which need refilling. Well, There's probably a route map or poster somewhere around here, most more than likely. Like that, yeah we are, poster. There's another reason why you need to, you, you could get out on the stations to find your collectibles. But that sort of gives it more of a game aspect, doesn't it? But yeah, but look at this scenery. Very nicely done here. Look, all these houses and stuff beside the line. And Find the gap between the train and the platform. Oh, the Find station the announcements. Gap. Brilliant. It just adds to it. It makes it more interesting and more realistic. Next station is Cathcart. There's a warning of 20 mile an hour up ahead, so...
And that's why it's not always best to go maximum speed. There goes another 314. It's nice to see plenty of AI traffic at this time. I'll take it back. Some areas or sometimes uh, you can get nice AI, but it depends on the times that you drive. I suppose that's quite realistic in a sense. Wouldn't get AI, wouldn't get uh, traffic all the time. So do I recommend the Glasgow Cathcart Circle Line route for TSW? I do. I think it is a very nicely well detailed route. They've done a fantastic job on the detail side of it. Um, as I say, in the means of AI traffic, yeah, it's okay. But I would have liked to have seen some more units included with the route. Instead of just the 314. Because the issue you get is when you're at Glasgow Central Station, you'll find that you have... A 314, a 314, a 314, a 314 in every single platform going. Not being funny, but I'm sure there's a bit more of a variety at Glasgow Central Station in real life than just 314s. Sounds are very nice. I really do like the sounds. One route I have got to get for TSW, and I haven't got it yet, is the Faversham High Speed route. I've heard that that is supposed to be quite a good route, so could be worth getting sometime in the future and do a review on that. Does look smart. It's 
actually technically I should have arrived at the next station four minutes ago. I do find it's very difficult to keep the time on this route. It is very difficult. next station is Cross Hill. Not too far from Glasgow Central now. It is quite a short route I have noticed and I believe you can go two ways because there's Newington as well. Is it Newington or Newton? I can't remember the name now. Or Newden. Oh, I see, I can't remember. Let's get a nice photo of that. Look. It can be quite challenging because obviously there is a lot of stops on the way because obviously you're on a stopper service. Uh, there is ECS runs as well. Yeah, there is a few little bits and pieces you can do on this route. And obviously you've got that 47 uh, rail tour. Well, would I call it rail tour? It's more like a... I don't, I, I don't know what you would call it because obviously it's a free coach so it's with 247s either end. So that would be like a, a short haul set, you know, like what they used to do with the short sets from Norwich, Lam Yo, Larmouth? <laughs> from Norwich, Yarmouth to Lowestoft. And they also used to do it in Cumbria as well, obviously because there's a shortage of units. It's basically the same sort of thing that they've gone for there. And I have noticed that it can be operated by a class 47, it can also be operated by a class 37, and I think a class 20 as well. Oh god, slightly overshot there I think. Oh, there's another one coming in. Yep, slightly overshot. That's not left, that's right. Oh my god, it's all going belly up now. Brilliant. Uh, passengers, uh, please use the back two coaches and do not attempt to jump off of the front coach, otherwise you may have an accident. Why is the stop marker for that station all the way far down the platform? Take notice do not do, do not take note of the stop marker it's not a good idea to even take any notice of it we shouldn't be too far from glasgow central now This is a nice scene. 
As you can see, you can sort of feel that you're on sort of the outskirts of Glasgow City. That, that's sort of this kind of feeling you get with this. Oh, we've got a lag spike there. So frame rate wise, the route does run very well frame wise. Um, I haven't particularly had any issues with it before. Uh, we are coming up to red in a minute, so I've got to be careful to start slowing down. Um, but yeah, obviously I did get a f lag spike back then, but generally the frame rates on this route are not too bad. They've done a good job in that department. These little train things are awfully common. They're on nearly every single platform, aren't they? I'm not sure if that's like a thing in real life. <laughs> It's a lovely scene here, isn't it? Coming into the main station. As I say, it would have been nicer to see various units and stuff coming in and out, but... But the scenics are really nice. Really done well on the scenics. So we are going to be halted at a red signal. Oh no, we've got a yellow.
Oh, I wanted to go into the other bit. Oh well. But yeah, look at this. Very smart, isn't it? I mean, the overall look of this station does look fantastic. I mean, I've even got the grimy kind of look to it. You know, it's 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 been done very well. There we are. Objective complete. There we go. So before we head off, just have a brief look round Glasgow Central Station. Uh, you guys would have seen this in the previous video, but I just thought I'll go for it again. Um, again, very nice detail, although I'm not really sure what's going on here. The whole photo texturing lark on here looks a bit shite, but um, yeah, it's okay, I suppose. It's better than nothing. Um, I mean, you could have put actual interiors in there, but hey ho. But yeah, you can go all the way out here, look. So you can literally go all the way out into sort of this main waiting room area, get the clock there, although you can't go any further than this. So if you go like, yeah, there's an invisible wall here, which is, again, a shame, it's just weird. Why couldn't they have just made this full, like, area just open, you know? And like the invisible wall would be near the entrance or something, you know? Just would, would have made more sense, but hey-ho. Um, but it sort of gives you that sort of London Victoria vibe as well, because if you go down here, you know, you've got more platforms down this sort of angle. I seem to remember walking down places like this within Victoria where you had the the shops either side of you as you walked down towards other platforms. Oh, we've got a collectible poster there. So I'll place that down. But yeah, it is a very no lo lovely looking station. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, they've done a really good job of this. Yes, we do want to give up that. But yeah, guys, so let me know what you guys think of this route. Like, what is your favourite aspect of it? Do you think that they need more units, really, realistically, on this route? Or do you think it's okay? So let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll be interested to know people's views about the Cathcart Circle Line route for TS World. So yeah, so I think that's it for today, guys. So this has been Samuel Beeman of British Locomotive Studios. Hope you enjoyed watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one. So whether I'll do another video on the Cathcart Circle Line I do not know but I think we've pretty much covered uh, most of the important stuff that have needed to be covered. So yeah, um, the only other thing I can really think of is covering the service with the 47 or the you know the, the, the so-called rail tour consist and have a look at some more sort of services on this route or even do some scenarios who knows but we'll see but for now 
that's a goodbye from the Kevcast circle line. And I'll see you guys soon. So thank you for watching. This has been Samuel Beam on a BLS. If you want to see more TSW3 videos, let me know in the comments. See you soon.